It has been a little over a year since an eight year old girl from Garfield Heights was shot in the eye and her case to this day remains unsolved. And today, Nyara Green is doing much better, but still recovering from her ordeal. And she says she won't let the incident define her. Tonight, she has a message for everyone about gun violence. Emma Henderson reports. I thought that I was going to die. March 16th, 2022. Garfield Heights. Kids are falling asleep after a barbecue and a shot goes off outside. Inside, eight-year-old Nyara Green is hit. We was all laid in uh, my mom's friend bed. Then uh, I got up, then it just hit me. Then I laid down and I hold in my right eye. Rushed to the hospital, her mother, Shernisha Cheney, is aware no matter what happens, her daughter's life has been permanently altered. Just hearing her like say those things about how she didn't want to die that night that's what she told me on the way to the hospital she said mommy i don't want to die i said you're not gonna die and that plays over and over and over in my head every single day i first met nyara april 19th 2022 one month after she was shot in a be kind shirt, eye covered in a patch, showing off her new Barbies, she along with her mom were asking for anyone with information in her case to come forward. A case that remains unsolved to this day, despite a $5,000 reward leading to an arrest. Now nine, Nayara wants to share her story, mom by her side, because she survived. And she knows there are others who don't. I wanna know. Why do y'all have guns if y'all don't need them to protect somebody, to protect you? Nayara also wants people to know the night she was shot and lost her right eye is not the only thing that defines her. She's also a singer, active in her church, a sister, and an aspiring nail and makeup artist. You can be shot in a place where you're not supposed to be here, and God saved you. So just to see her grow and just to see God's miracle, is amazing to me. But the scars of gun violence aren't just visible on the outside, and mom notices the differences daily. She's still very confident, but she has anxiety, she has attachment issues. Um, <laughs> like, I've never, she's never wanted to be around me so much. Like, we sleep together every single night, and to see how scared she is, it just makes me feel helpless, because how I'm supposed to help her like, I feel like I do, I do everything I'm supposed to do, and she still feels this way. And just because her eye is now different, others treat her differently. My daughter's getting bullied. Like, these are the things that comes with it. Like, I had a little girl tell my daughter, shut up before I shoot you again. These are the things that we have to deal with. Cheney says it's her daughter's strength that carries their family through. But catching Nayara's shooter is what would really bring some peace of mind. It would mean the world to me. The world. Because anyone that careless should not be on the street. And for Nayara, a sense of safety. I feel safe because my mom, she, she protects us and stuff. And I feel scared too because I don't want to be shoot, shot at or nothing no more. Wow, an amazing young lady, an amazing mom, yes. certainly. That was Emma Henderson reporting, and anyone with information on the era shooting should contact Garfield Heights Police. Crime Stoppers is also offering a reward of up to $5,000 for any information.